and Asher are in Lisbon to plan our wedding. Degrella and I am planning a Lisbon destination wedding with my fiance Asher and our wonderful planner Dream Weddings Europe. So if you're interested in that or just in my normal content which is me living in New York City, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, hit that subscribe button. Good morning from Lisbon. So I decided to vlog this experience with me. By we, I mean me and Asher are in Lisbon to plan our wedding. And we got in last night. We got, well, mid-afternoon. So we got in like mid-afternoon yesterday. We actually had quite the journey. So we were supposed to fly from New York to Lisbon and they were asking for volunteers to volunteer to go to Porto instead. So we volunteered and they gave us $1,200 in flight credit. So your girl is gonna use that to like go to LA and probably like another Europe trip later in the year. So very exciting, totally worth it. We had to have a very long travel day yesterday. Like we got in, technically we got to Porto at like 10 a.m. yesterday, but then we had to take, we had to wait for a train at 10.30 from Porto to Lisbon and then take a three-ish, four hour train ride from Porto to Lisbon so we were on a train so like we didn't get to Lisbon until like 4 p.m. yesterday we had some dinner we walked around we took some pictures so yeah this week we are going to be doing so many wedding planning stuff so, so today I'm doing my hair and makeup trial we're meeting with our um, stationary person um, we're gonna be meeting with our florist or wedding planner doing cake tastings um, menu tastings like we're doing all of the fun wedding stuff this week waiting for my uber to go to my hair trial i have my hair extensions that i got that i'm literally obsessed with guys like i'm gonna insert a picture right here they literally transform your hair these are from bellamy and i do have a code it's like ren degrella 10 um for 10 percent off and they are so worth every single penny i feel like a celebrity when i wear them i really think that fake hair is the difference between like celebrity perfect hair and like normal hair it just like hits different um but i'm standing in front of our hotel waiting for the uber this is like kind of what our street looks like let me so this is kind of what our street looks like let me flip this around it is like so pretty here it's like something out of a movie So this is my final makeup for the wedding trial and I think it looks beautiful. It's very like bronzy and shimmery. There's like a slight wing that isn't too dramatic. Look at that highlight. Very, very glowy. My skin looks amazing. Very glossy, natural lip. Um, I love it. I think the look needs my hair done to get like the full effect. But I think that this is beautiful, natural, glowy, which is exactly what I'm looking for. It's like a slight glam, not a full glam. Joanna, my makeup artist, did an amazing job. I really like it. And now I'm going to my hairstylist, Tania, to get these extensions put in and do my hair. So this is the final hair. It looks so good. Very Hollywood glam waves. And I'm just loving it. It looks great with the makeup too. Like my makeup looks so good here too. So like the full look, it's perfect, voluminous, glamorous, 10 out of 10. Okay, so I am currently on Lisbon's Pink Street. Very cute, waiting for Asher because we're gonna have lunch at one of these restaurants in this little street. 
and after we have lunch we're gonna go meet with our like stationary person in Love Weddings who will do all the signage and menu cards and all that kind of stuff for the wedding very exciting but let's do a little walk through this area because it's so cute um, there's like these umbrellas hanging over the street the street is pink very cute tons of little restaurants and bars okay so we have a lovely steak and rice lunch very Portuguese a little side salad there's my lovely fiance going to town on this just got back from looking at wedding stationery so like menu cards and place mat like labels and ceremony programs and all of that stuff there were so many options guys and like we're getting them all custom but like we saw like a bunch of inspirations so that we could like pick out things that we liked elements we didn't like and there was just so much we already have a crest so I think we're gonna put like our crust on like the menus and then do like just like a really straight classic menu um we might do like a champagne wall and then have the seats like our seating um tables or whatever on the like rim of the champagne glass i think that'll be really cute um might do a neon sign we'll see but like um we're definitely gonna stick within like our main color range of like gold foil and light blue and whites and very like classic colors that go with our scheme um, and yeah, it was really, really fun. Um, we got to like pretty much like talk through like the whole like flow of the evening because we need signage for all of the different, um, activities and everything. So like, even for like the events leading up to the wedding, like we'll need like a welcome sign for our rooftop drinks that we're having the first night. And then like another welcome sign and like menu cards or like table seating place cards for our rehearsal dinner as well as the wedding too and like ceremony um ceremony programs and everything i really love the idea of having a ceremony program that also doubles as a fan i saw that and it was so cute and i think it'd be really useful because it's going to be literally like so hot in august in portugal so at least like people have something to fan with during the ceremony hello everyone so today is a very exciting day because we are doing our cake tasting which is the part that asher is most excited for he's all about the sweets this one is a vanilla punch mm -hmm. with mango we skipped two things because of the the, the allergies yeah we skipped the pistachios it wasn't too sure if yeah. we, so we skip it and we skip the cardamomo as well. Okay. So Perfect. we were afraid of putting yeah. it. If you say, okay, that's not a problem, we can put it, but here we skip it. So Very allergic to both those. So. so, and this one is coconut perfection. Amazing. Let's, so, go start with. let's start with this one. Okay. Oh, cool. mm -hmm. That is one of my favorites, so I just love the combo of this coconut mm. and peanuts, so mm. it's beautiful. That's good cake. Yeah, that's very yummy. Mm. Cool. See, the mango one was really good. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I love the coconut. Mm -hmm. That one's also really good. Coconut's uh, like my favorite. I do love coconuts. Everything well. Which is no, 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 no. Mm. For example, this one you say mango, yeah. Mm. This is like mm. sweet and yeah. this is like yeah, chocolate that's in the middle of the mango. Yeah. Uh, mango. So we finished up the cake tasting. My phone died at the end of it, so we didn't get to tell you guys the final cake flavor that we chose. Which I'm gonna let Asher say which cake flavor we chose. What did we choose, Ashi? Coconut and pineapple. Yeah, it's like a pineapple, coconut, pina colada type of vibe. <laughs> It's kind of like a pina colada. <laughs> it's got to be a colada. Um, I'm about to get hit by a car. Um, I'm surprised we didn't go with the chocolate. 
but because Asher is a big chocolate guy, but he actually made the decision to do coconut because the chocolate was a little heavy. It just like isn't like, I don't know if I like wanted to eat that like, if he wanted to eat that like rich chocolate cake. I don't know. What, what was the reasoning behind the chocolate cake, sweetie? Uh, the coconut felt more summery. I feel that. I feel that. Now we are walking to the hotel rooftop that we're going to have our welcome drinks at. I'm so excited. We are doing like an open bar of wine, sangria, beer, and it's gonna have the most amazing view. It's during sunset and it's gonna be the perfect way to welcome all of our guests to Lisbon. Okay, so we just got back from looking at the rooftop for the welcome drinks and it was so beautiful, literally the perfect location to start off our wedding weekend. Like it's going to be so nice to like be able to show everyone like a rooftop view of Lisbon um, and celebrate with drinks and just, it's like a more casual, kind of start to the wedding, have everyone meet each other and socialize before we all party together two days from then. So very exciting. We are about to go to dinner. Um, and then tomorrow we have no wedding planning stuff because we're just having like a day off and our wedding planning stuff starts again on Friday. So I think that I'm going to not vlog the next day, kind of stay in the moment. Um, and this will, I'm not gonna show dinner or anything. And then I will see you guys back on Friday. So it is day six of our trip to Portugal and we are doing our food, like wedding food menu tasting today. Yesterday I took a break from vlogging and like social media and stuff to kind of live in the moment. We went to Castle de São Jorge um, and it was a beautiful lookout point, beautiful castle. We get to like walk along the ruins of that. There were peacocks everywhere, it was so, Cool. Um, and then we had dinner at this place, Mama Shelter, that had nuts and like literally every single piece of food at the restaurant and I almost died. So I am back better than ever and we're about to start our, we're about to go to Sintra to do our wedding food tasting at Penalonga Resort. So let's go. Not watermelon, it's um, grapefruit. Grapefruit, yeah. The grapefruit's amazing. Really good. I like it a lot. I think this should be the one. Yeah. It's like a good, like, palate cleanser too. Yeah, it's very light, it's airy, it's like... Summery. Very summery. Um, looks very hot too. Yeah, it looks hot. Um, this would be amazing for a winter wedding. I know. It's so like rich and like, oh, it's so good. But not for the summer. No. They're showing it how it's like presented. Mm. It is fabulous. It's so. a good piece of fish. 
Like, how do you not like that? That's so unoffensive. That's something special. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's a duck cannelloni. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> I've recently grown to like lamb. Wow. Isn't it amazing? The potato or whatever it is. Plenta. No, this is no, the, this is the fried Turn it. Mm. Wow. That's something special. Scale of one to ten. I've never had something quite like this before, but man, it was good. Okay, let me try it because this is literally the only one I can try. <laughs> okay. So I'm allergic to all the other ones. They, we can ask them to make um, some accommodations for the wedding, but like I can't taste them today. Asher's gonna have to handle that. So this is the only one I can eat. I mean, this is. And it's phenomenal. This is really, really quite tasty. Gold. So this is the second dessert. It is the chocolate mousse. It has nuts in it, which you can see. So I can't try any, but Asher's gonna do the honor of trying it. This is going to be so good. What do we think? Whatever this is, it's exceptional. Exceptional. Is it, is it better than the apple? I mean, like it's a Ferrari better than a Lamborghini? I don't know. Hard to compare. What do we think? I mean, the cake itself is not particularly good. It's quite the presentation. It has pistachios, cake. Double the cake, double the fun. Can I munch? Yes, you can munch. Okay, I'm gonna it without the... The fun is the massage and bowl. What is this cream on the side? Oh, she's thick. Thoughts, opinions? It's much better than Isabel and the massage. Yeah. It's not very thick. It's tasty. It's rich. It's not my favorite, but it's... Uh, that's like a white chocolate, I think. Not cheese. Not cheese. <laughs> what do you think of the lemon? Very lemony. It's like lemonade? Very lemony. Oh. I usually love good lemon cake. I've been really into lemon um, lemon squares. Which one? It's a lot. It's a lot of lemon. It is our last day in Lisbon. Yesterday we did the menu tasting, which my phone I mean, my camera died midway through, so I didn't get to finish that, but we ended up picking the shrimp salad, the uh, sea bass for the main, and then the chocolate mousse for the dessert, and I think it was like the vanilla cake wedding cake as like the sheet cake we're gonna give out to our guests. Um, and we picked like most of the little like canapé appetizer order of things. We only didn't pick the beef, ro beef croquettes and the salmon. So, menu has been ordered it's perfect um now we are doing our final wedding planning thing which is to go to the venue with our florist and do a little bit of a walk through tour the venue again see where we want to like have everything our planner was supposed to join us but unfortunately she got sick and now she can't make it with us but it's still gonna be great and i'm so excited to go to our wedding venue one last time before the wedding day
cocktail hour downstairs. So that's nor. Yeah. It's like a little bit more. Like it's a little rustic. Yeah, it's rustic and like natural feeling. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You get up, you walk over here, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, the champagne wall now has champagne in yeah, it. Yeah, we could put you the champagne wall here. Yeah. And then you can sit here, you can walk over to the bar there. Yeah. But it's like, it's awkward to then be like, I'm going to go all the way all back All the way back there, there yeah. And then like, So you want the champagne wall here? I mean, I think that makes sense. Yeah, I feel right? that. I think it's like a very so, like... I'm going to take like... And then I like the seating area here because it's like right near the castle. Um, yeah, we have, a, we have a handful of these little thingies. Yeah. I don't know if we have something this big, but we have like some sofas and like whatever. Um, so champagne wall here. 